Hey guys, this is Kirob speaking, and today we are back in Pro Cycling Manager 2017 with Tiki Max Speck in the uh, second half of uh, La Vuelta, his final season goal. And just look at this fitness peak still active, and it will be for another week, I think, which will be great. And freshness at 96, and potentially today with today's race. Uh, we will be able to, I think it's stage 13, we should be able to recuperate a little bit of freshness to be ready for both the 14th and 15th and 16th stage, very, very important. And stage 20 is actually a little critical because that's the uh, most important mountain stage, but I think our fitness peak might not last that long. Okay, let's get into the race. This is looking really good, really, really good, because it's a day for the sprinters, which hopefully means that our team can relax a little bit and make Speck as well. Okay, this is the first time we actually have a plus five on make Speck on a flat stage though. So that's great, 72 flat. We have a stamina of 85 and a resistance of 85 as well. That does look really, really good. Uh, anyway, let's uh, have a quick look here. It's not really terrain for McSpec, but we... M nah. Now the finish line being 4%. Uh, we hate it. We hate 4%. 4% is the worst for McSpec. So the um, layout of this stage is quite interesting. We have this terrible, terrible first part of it which has so many anti mech climbs in it, but overall very hilly. And we need to keep to the front because of all the potential falls. But also that means that the main part of the chasing will be done on the pure flat, which is far less dangerous and easier for us to do as well. So yeah, it's looking pretty good. And it looks like there are only two SKPs going, so it will be an easy day. So far, everything is going according to plan. These little hills don't phase mech spec whatsoever. I hope the downhill doesn't either. Like oh! Really bad fall. fall. It's a uh, shame, he's not going any uh, further. Uh, uh, on the Apparently, the leader is on the uh, ground. Oh. Uh, uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> there they a go. <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. Big pile up. Okay. Now we are heading towards the easy terrain and uh, the chasing of the two lonely SKPs. I don't think we have to accelerate much for that to happen to actually catch them. But the, the end phase of the race definitely will be a little um, more challenging. Not for McSpec of course, because look at his stats. I mean, look at them. It's, it's bonkers. Now the SKPs are just two minutes away, 40 kilometers left to go. That's pretty much perfect, so we don't have to stress out to, to get them. And it will end up in a sprint finish. And because Mechspec has so much of his stamina bar left, I think we might be able to grab a few points here. Okay, the upcoming climb definitely is a little too short to make anything happen. We have almost caught the SKPs. This is the last one up in front. And this ramp is just so short. And around this ramp that is coming up, there are anti mech spec climbs. So I'm not too confident that we can uh, produce a gap right there. Because everyone else full ha has full resistance bar as well. And yeah, mech spec isn't that good uh, right up in the flat. But what we can do is make sure that we get into the climb as one of the first riders. So just accelerate from here. That's all good. And uh, may maybe not quite that much. 70 should be enough. There are just 10 kilometers yeah, left. that's looking good. Wow! He's dying at that pace already. And now the climb starts. So I'm expect 85. That's looking great. That is looking great. No one will surprise us here. It'll probably be a and this is finish. exactly That's what we want the because the uh, sprinters no will be hard pushed to um, get into position when we're moving that fast up this little climb. 
And now we are very, very nicely positioned up here on the top. Um, let's have... Oh, he's too far back. Okay. Well, um, you try to protect me. That would be great. Whoa, they are moving so hard. 172 in the flat. Okay, 5.5 kilometers remaining. It's pretty fast. So let me trigger the spec bar right now. So that we maybe have it right at the end. The finish line is getting close. The riders oh, my positioning the is perfect for this part here, considering who we are. And uh, that means not a sprinter. Soon we are into the downhill section. Whoa, he's trying something. But uh, I don't really want to follow him. Come oh, no, 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 no. Go, Mixpec. Go, 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 go. You didn't really get the memo, did you? Okay, good. Maybe him. Yes, follow. Follow along. Yes, someone is going. He is pretty awesome. Now we are still very well positioned. Two kilometers left. Okay, so the and it's very much down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's there looking great. He's catching up. And now, 1.4 kilometers left. Mechspec has just triggered his spec bar. It's active, and we are in the perfect spot here. Let's see if we can make something happen. 1.1 kilometers left. Is he actually slowing down? Uh, who is behind me? Is the question. Maybe we should try to sprint from here. Uh, it is uphill though. So yeah, I, I guess we just try to sprint from here. Oh no, Mechspec. Don't get stuck. I right, sprint! Sprint! We need to get a few points! Come on, Mechspec! Sprint! Oh yes, this is looking pretty good! Uh, we was a little too stuck behind this guy there. When I pressed the sprint button, Mechspec actually didn't do anything. Because he was like, oh, <laughs> I am sprinting totally! Totally! I, 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 I swear, I'm sprinting! But of course he wasn't. But look at how much stamina we have left after this stage. <laughs> I think we are back up to 100% freshness after this. Uh, that was basically a rest day for Mechspec. Oh yeah, another 12 points. That's great news. So, how are we doing? <laughs> oh shit, we have a, almost a 99 point advantage on the second place proper sprinter guy. He's awesome. And uh, yeah, yeah that, so it's going well. It is going well for Mechspec. And here we have uh, twice the points in the mountain standings also. So we are pretty safe overall, I would say. 3 minutes 12 on the clock. And now we are moving into the really important mountain stages. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is epic. <laughs> that stage. I don't see many 4% um, uh, anti mech spec climbs in this one. Very, very hilly terrain. That definitely suits mech spec. And then these climbs, this final climb towards the finish. That's amazing. Okay, let's see how this goes. We have a plus 4 bias today. Plus 4. Wow. Let's hope Mechspec rolls a plus 4 today, or maybe even a plus 5. If he rolls a plus 5, that, that, will, that will really seal the deal. Okay, Mechspec actually rolled a minus 2. Ouchies. Still doing very, very well. Uh, 86 Mountain today. And this is a pretty long stage too. So we definitely do need the stamina of 79. And that is where Mechspec is much stronger than the other tour riders because he's a climber and the tour riders don't have that much stamina and resistance rating. Not not quite as at, at least. So yeah, I mean, even with a minus two for today, um, we should be doing pretty well. But what doesn't look all too good is that our teammates all are reasonably terrible today. Although, He's not not too bad. Maybe. Maybe he can help us out a little bit. Okay, so weekday for Mechspec today. No wonders are expected of him today, but tomorrow is another mountain stage. And hopefully we get a better race day condition there. Oh shit. That's a lot of riders going. And they are all good mountain riders. I think I saw Roglic there. He's actually really good. 
So we need to keep an eye out on them. Not get the uh, not let the uh, advantage get too large. Okay, so far very controlled. Two minutes thirty on the clock for the escapees. That's not too terrible. I mean, even if we don't get um, don't get much time today on the others because of our just plus two. I think what we should try to do is uh, at least get the stage win, and that should be possible. And yeah, a little bit more conservative riding today, not sort of all out attacking, but rather saving it until uh, until the end. That might be the better strat today. And my teammates are definitely keeping it under control so far. Okay, now this is where this is we uh, start to. Uh, get into very interesting parts. As you can see, uh, quite some steep slopes coming up. But I don't think I'm going to try anything until the the final black section in the final climb. Okay, but now, look at the time differential. Seven minutes again. There's some great riders in here too. Hmm, maybe I should uh, try to use one of my guys to uh, just really chase it down here. Um, to minimize the time. So let's take a look if that actually works. We are currently behind 640 and uh, now I've put them on 85. Let's hope people are following this. I think they are. Come on, Mixpec. You can move. Move, move, move. Don't get stuck. Okay, we are now down here already and it is looking better, I think. Yeah, uh, we got 40 seconds on them in the downhill and the little flat bit up there. Now through the valley, and after the valley... Uh, well, I don't expect my guys to still be alive then, apart from uh, the one protecting me, which should last for the first, um, first category climb. Alright, now we need to get positioned. Uh, Mechspec, maybe try to get through. Just riding to the front they like this. Really Rup, coming through. The Max Pack coming through. Far, there we are. And we are moving into this one. That's looking pretty good. Not overdo it, please. Yes. Very nice. Well positioned at the front. And now we are in the actual climb. So this is perfect. We need to stay up front here. And uh, yeah, they can just continue pulling, I guess. So, how much time do we still have? Five minutes. Five minutes in this terrain is definitely possible, considering that they have been riding harder all day long. And Mechspec is still fresh. Ah, and other teams are coming to the front. Do, do you guys want to actually pull? That would be fun. I'd love you to do that. Back. Now they are attacking up front. That is great news, because that means that they will most likely break apart. And that makes them easier to uh, rail in. Just 17 kilometers left for Mechspec. There's this flat section coming up very, very soon. And my helper looks like he will be able to protect me for the whole flat section coming up. It's looking great. Oh, they have been attacking and meddling around for six minutes. It doesn't look like we will be able to win this stage. My team is not strong enough to actually rail in an escape group on this terrain. That's unfortunate. So let's let's just ride a little, Mechspec. Let's just ride. I mean, we are protected. We can we can pull. Okay. Uh, does my teammate get me exactly to the peak? It looks like it. Now it's downhill from from here almost. Almost no, no Mechspec. Don't don't do lead work. Don't do lead work. You can stay up front, please. Oh wow, <laughs> that's quite a gap forming here. Uh, they didn't expect Mechspec to accelerate that much. Uh, I'm going to use my teammate to the maximum just to get moving into this final climb at a perfect spot, and it looks like we will be able to do that. Yes, I think they are. Yeah, they're turning up here. And now Mechspec just needs to go. Um, eight kilometers. Yeah, sounds all right. So uh, let's take this at 80. Thanks, mate. Uh, 
Okay, just 6.7 kilometers left for Mechspec. But very, very steep. And the fi final 500 meters or so are actually flat and downhill. Okay, that's looking good. It is looking good. But uh, what is the time differential currently? Five minutes. Unless they completely die in the uh, this final section, I don't see us getting the win. We are getting into the uh, steeper sections here now. I'm getting ready to accelerate. And I think I need to trigger my Speckbahn now so that I can... Oh! Oh, oh, there was a little gap forming. No, now they're coming. Are they trying to lead, actually? No, not really. So, four kilometers left. Speckbar is getting ready for the for the super steep section. There we go. Okay, so now I can move a little harder. Um, how about 87, 88? Really want to test the legs of Contador and uh, Chris Froome. Just three kilometers left. What what is the time differential to the to the guy up front? Wow, just two minutes. I think we can actually capture them. Uh, it's Roglic. Okay, that that was to be expected. Um, where are they? Should be visible. So there's there's the one guy. He's moving pretty slow. I think he has folded already for today. So don't get stuck there, Mixpec. Don't get stuck. Oh, they can't follow. Oh. Chris Froome is the only one left. And he needs to accelerate to actually follow me. Nah, no, nah, okay, he's fine. He's fine. Um, now it's 40. There he is! Oh, and he's moving slow. He's moving really slow right now. This is looking good. Max back, max back, max back. Go, go, go. And I think uh, at the top I kind of need to accelerate a little bit. I don't think Chris Froome can do that. Oh, he's trying. He is trying. Okay. Um, make spec. Sprint. Attack. There we go. The sprint is on. Come on. Accelerate. And then uh, just go 99 in case you, you wonder what to do next. Come on, make spec. Yes, you get to win. Yes. No, no, no. no. Oh, yo, yo, he's accelerating. Ooh, yes, we did it. We got the win. Oh, that was so close, Mechspec. That was good work there. Whew, but you really could see that we weren't that dominant today. Just made use of our resources in a uh, really, really good fashion. Okay, let's take a look at the final ratings. We did get 25 seconds on Pierre Latour. And uh, Roglic, oh, he lost a full minute in this final climb. But he is amazing in time trial. Uh, I think he might be winning that one. We won the stage, number 24 points. And let's move into the second big mountain stage. Oh my god. This one isn't very steep, but it definitely... Uh... Oh, wait a sec. No, this, is, this profile is actually a little misleading because it's stretched, because the stage itself is pretty short. So this looks a little more shallow than it really is. Uh, pretty rough. We are the favorite to win today. One of the usual suspects are on our heels. Again, a plus four bias for today. That's great news. Very important. I hope that we have that tomorrow as well for the time trial. But yeah, uh, that's, that's me hoping. Um, today definitely can end up in big time differentials because my competitors uh, yeah, they are. They they have to to try something, and probably they will run out of uh, resistance bar. And once that happens, and Mechspec has saved some, yeah, they are gone. Wow. Wow, what a day! What a day for Mechspec. Plus five before the last day before the time trial on one of the most insane mountain stages. Look at that. It's not... It's not a anti mech spec mountain. This is proper steep in places. And wow, it's 28 kilometers of climbing. And that with a resistance of 85 and a stamina of 85. 
And a mountain rating of 87. Are you sane, Mechspec? This is... This is madness. The only trouble is, today we don't... Oh, we have lost a team member. I don't think he made it in the time limit, actually. And it's just 136 riders left out of the 190 that started. That's a little rough. But what is great is that Horny... Horny is back! He's back! He's doing well! Look at that! 99% fitness! Where does that come from? He will be our protector today! Oh yes! Oh, there's a lot of people trying to go. That's a little too many, I would say. That's a little crazy. Uh, how many are there? Yeah, but then again, I mean, it's it's a lot of flat. So, not too worried about that. Oh no, Roglic is trying to escape again. What the fuck? That's not good. All right. Everyone has found himself, and uh, it's actually a pretty strong group up front with uh, Roglic once again. Uh, he's tiring himself out uh, before the time trial, it seems, trying to win a stage. We shall try to keep uh, them on a good distance. And then they will probably really get some time going uh, in this first category climb coming up. Wow, super steep. I... Is this rain? Is this snow? Is this snow or is this snow rain? No, this is rain. Okay. I, I was a little worried uh, right now. Because that, that will mean that there will be a few falls. A oh, now it's actually snowing. Are you kidding me? The snow. Okay, let's see how... Oh, Roglic is attacking. Okay, we attack. have six minutes. They must have been moving like crazy up this mountain. That means they don't have that energy or the, the stamina left in the main thing. I'm not all that worried. Oh, it's getting tight here. It's getting really tight. And there we are across the crest. Most of my team is still along for the ride. That's good news. And now, in the downhill. Let's see, who's actually good in the downhill? He's pretty decent. So... Let you guys, uh, are you good? No, not really. You hang on. You hang in there. And you also go to the front and pull like at 90. We really want to get back a bit of time here on the escapees. Because today, if not today, then I don't know if we ever get a, another stage win. This is Mechspec's big day. Alright, now Mechspec just needs to make sure to stay up front. I uh, set it to 90 and not be involved into in any falls. Oh, uh, it's glitchy. It's glitchy. Oh shit. It's that so snow. There's snow on the road. Alright, uh, let's have a quick look at the time. Eight fucking minutes. Wow. That's crazy, but they are very split up. Oh, that's that's pretty good. Uh, but eight minutes, <laughs> that's a lot of, lot of time. Come on, grab the water bottles. Yes, through the tunnel. Oh, move to the front. Give it to us. <laughs> sprint, sprint, man. Yes. Well done, well done. So now we have all the resources we need for the final little bit. Oh, we are actually moving super fast in the flat here. That's a little scary. Maybe that's a little too too much, guys. Too much. Uh, calm, calm down a bit. 80, 80 is completely fine. I think they might have cut into... Oh, they got two minutes! We got two minutes on them. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Oh, yeah. Um, this, this guy won't be able to do much more. But we are well positioned. We've actually lost a bit of resistance here. And that's not all too good. But we're... Wow, we're regaining resistance at 150. That's impressive. Okay, this is now the first part of the climb. We are moving a little hard. A little too hard for my liking, actually. Uh, is that you moving that hard? Uh, maybe? He's not really leading, is he? I can slow that down a bit. Let's see if it slows down overall. Uh, uh, not much. 
There's an attack in the group at the All right. front. The back Our is lead is actually gone. Day. He can do whatever he likes now. And let's see if anyone else wants to take the scepter. Uh, no. Xpec is recuperating his resistance. Maybe we just need to move at 65 then. How much time is there to the front? Still six minutes. That's a lot, but six minutes in this climb is not that much. Uh, if you have tired legs and can barely follow. That's still 20 kilometers out and we... <laughs> oh shit. We have we've completed the first step and it's still 21 kilometers left to go. Oh, now they... Now they start moving. Okay. Let's try to hang in there then. And see what they do. That's good. That means that we um, have a chance for the win if they start moving, because otherwise they just let the others ride, which would be uh, unfortunate for us, because we definitely have a shot today. At this speed, let's see, seven minutes. I don't know if they will actually be able to keep up that kind of speed. And it's still too far out to start accelerating. And the pace is decent so that we actually just about keep our resistance bar full. But, I mean, come on, guys. It's you who have to attack, not me. This is too slow. This is far too slow. I want to grab the win, after all. So, let's uh, move at 70. Uh, how much? Uh, 6 minutes 45 on the clock, okay. And there's the, oh yeah, 11 kilometers left. Um, yes, uh, yes, this is a little, a little worrying, actually. Don't think we can, uh, they, they, uh, will be caught. Six minutes now, though, okay. Maybe everyone is just super wasted and, and can't move, but now Horny is gone, my protector. It's very unfortunate. So Mechspec is on his own now. We have... Oh, wow. The, adva the advantage is collapsing right now. Uh, we are moving strong. And it's just eight kilometers left, and there's a little bit of flat in there, too. And we have the world's best um, uh, resistance today, so let's accelerate. And yeah, just seven kilometers left for us now. Uh, how much... Four minutes still. Ooh. No, I don't think we will be able to catch them. Although, McSpec will be able to ride super hard in the final bit. Okay, now moving into the final flank. Let's move at 88. Trigger the spec bar. Snowy. It's all snowy and stuff. Now they have to get moving. Now they really need to try to hang in here. Okay, let's see. Chris Froome is still there. And oh, what's time? Three minutes twenty. Ooh, I hope they are folding though. And now, let's try if we can separate them. Oh my, the guys up front aren't going nope, to we can't. Today. We really can't. Uh, Chris Froome is still following along. Damn, he's strong today. He is really strong today. But we can move to the finish at 99 now, I think. Yeah, my god, he's strong. He must have a super high race day condition as well. So 1.7 kilometers left. And where are they? So that's... Oh, there he is. Today, Roglitch is winning. <laughs> Today, he's actually winning. Oh, uh, yeah, we won't catch him. We won't catch him. Nice win for him. Chris Room is this trying to sprint, failing. Yeah, no, we, we, we couldn't do much there. He was riding too to strong. He was riding too strong. My te If we had a, uh, a little bit of a better teammate there, we might have um, tried something else, but yeah, it's rough. Plus five race day condition, and still we weren't able to get rid of Chris Room. He was strong today. In the end, it was 26 seconds. <laughs> oh, wow. So we did take 6 minutes 30 in the final section of the climb. 
uh, or in the final climb in total. That is impressive, but yeah, not quite good enough. He's such a good rider. And this will be the next stage. Stage 16 out of 21 after a rest day. Everyone is back to 100% freshness. Oh well, most riders are. Basically not my teammates. But that is something for another episode. When we take on the final stages of La Vuelta. I hope you enjoyed and see you guys next time.